Guy, um, how about you? I also know you've got a very interesting story about when you first joined MDRT, uh, about how that impacted you as well. Would you go ahead and, and relate? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, okay, well, I, don't, I wasn't going to go there with that story. <laughs> um, well, first off, let me say that uh, you've all heard it probably said that nothing happens until somebody sells something. Okay, so if, you're, if there is one secret to success in this business, it's putting yourself at bat. You know, it, you, can't, you cannot hit a baseball unless you swing. So you've got to have enough activity. And what, when I first came into the business, the manager who recruited me into the business had one saying, and he said, activity breeds activity. And I said, well, that's nice, Ralph. And then, you know, I'd go running off, and then I'd come back to, the, to see him later in the, act, in the afternoon, and instead of saying, Guy, how are you? Did you have a good day? And everything like that, he'd say, activity breeds activity. And so every time I saw Ralph, virtually the first thing he would ever say to me is, activity breeds activity. Now, I have to tell you, he and I have been together, uh, he's just turned 77 uh, this, a week or so ago, and so he's, he now occupies an office in my office. And so when I see him every morning, I say, Ralph, activity breeds activity. <laughs> He's a lousy agent. <laughs> but the story Julian's referring to is when I came to my first MDRT, I, I joined MDRT the very first year I was in the business full time. And I didn't go to the meeting. And then the next year I didn't go to the meeting. And then the next year I didn't go to the meeting. And then finally they put the meeting in my backyard. <laughs> and so I, I, I had run out of excuses, so I went. And I went to the meeting, and, you know, it, I mean, it was huge. I mean, it was overwhelming, the number of people there. There had to be at least 1,500. I mean, it was just <laughs> an, un, an unreasonable number of people. Of course, we have, what, seven, 8,000 today, something like that. Anyway, I just, you know, it was a great meeting. I learned so much. I, there were a number of, of uh, instances that took place there, incidences that were fun. But um, when I walked away, I didn't feel connected. I didn't feel part of MDRT, and I vowed I was never coming back. You know, unless they put it in my backyard again. We're glad you did. <laughs> so, you know, as it turned out, I went to a CLU institute about uh, six months later, and I met this young guy, and he was sitting in the back of a truck, and we we're bouncing along. And he says, "Are you a member of the round table? Yeah. Did you go to the meeting? Yeah." He says, "What did you think of the meeting? I'm not going back." He says, "Well, why don't we join a study group?" And so anyway, he kept pestering me. And finally, he talked me into going to Boston. Well, he was president of the round table about eight years ago, Gene Mon, 10 years ago. I don't know when it was. But anyway, so Gene and I became fast friends. And we put together the study group. And I kept coming every year after that. So it was, you know, for me, it was the connection. It was the friendships. And I've asked so many members, you know, why do you like MDRT? And I get two answers. One is, it changed my life. And the second one is because of the friendships, the relationships. Terrific. Thanks. Here's a question I think all of us would like to hear the answers to. We have all been through slumps. How many people in here have been through slumps? <laughs> oh, no, wait a minute. Every hand should be going up. We have all been through slumps, right? Okay. When you go through a slump, you just can't seem to produce any new business, correct? All right. Guy, I'm going back to you. How do you motivate yourself to get out of a slump? 